Yeah, hello children, how are you all doing? Yes, I know you've been missing church so, 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 so much. Yes, but don't worry, God is in control, everything is going to come back normally the way it's supposed to be. Bless you. And I know mommy and daddy has been taking good care of you, and trust me, I know you are doing good. The glorious children, bless you. Yes, quickly, before we say anything, let's quickly just say, oh, sorry, my name is George Nathaniel your friend before we say anything let's quickly say a short prayer thank you father thank you heavenly king we bless your name thank you father for speaking through us this day and lord we ask that you open up our hearts and our mind we ask that your blessings reaches us father we ask that you enrich us with your glory and your blessings and your grace that will carry us through and help us to guide to be guided by you in the name of jesus we pray amen yes the topic for today is god's guidance and control yeah because when god guides you he will control you automatically as long as you've been guided by god as long as you have this guidance by god it controls you it controls you automatically it helps you balance up in a lot of things you know it helps you see the negative part and turns it to the positive way that's it and our text for it this morning is coming from the book of psalm chapter 25 5 psalm chapter 25 verses 4 and 5 which says show me your ways lord teach me your truth you see that you heard that show me your ways lord teach me your truth guide me in your truth and teach me for you are my God, my Savior. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are my God and my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. You see? So children, we have no other way than to allow God to guide us. No other ways. God has to guide us, to be able to control us, to be able to put us in the right direction. Let me quickly just give you a little story about what happened to me when I was a child. We are back from school. My brother and I were walking back. It rained that day, you know, so we had this, there was flood everywhere. We had to take off our shoes so it doesn't get, you know. So we were walking with our stockings on. And we got to one scenario, one accident. There was one accident there, you know, and I saw this truck hit uh, a, a, a street light, the pole. And it fell, but it didn't go down to the floor, so it slightly fell. So what I saw, it automatically was just a playground. You know, so I felt like, ooh, this is like a automatic, a fine playground, you know, I'll just step on it, I'll just run over and run back, you know, things like that. And just about doing that, I heard a voice in me that says, don't do that. I didn't listen to the voice. And my elder brother said the same thing to me, don't do that, George. And I didn't listen either. So do you know what I did? I quickly took my bag, my shoe, I stepped on it. Oh, trust me, children, that experience was unbelievable, unforgettable. I never, I till today that I'm talking to you, I can't forget that experience. Only God saved me because God loves me. Do you understand that? So it is always good to listen to the word of God. So let's quickly look at, you know, how we can get this guidance from God. Things we need to do to help God to guide us. Number one, prayers. I remember growing up, my mom always tells me, pray about guidance. Ask God to guide you. And trust me, it was successful. Everything I did, you know, everything I was doing was just working according to, I, I could hear, when, when I walked to a place or when, I was, when I'm doing some certain things, I could hear the Holy Spirit talking to me. And I listened, you know. Though sometimes we are humans, we, we might tend to, no, no, let me, let me try this other part. No, but it doesn't work like that. Secondly is humility. We have to be humble. There's a word that says, if you want to listen, keep quiet. You know, so children, we need to put up that humility. Wear that garment of humility and let the Holy Spirit speak to us. Yes, thirdly. Is obedience. Obedience is very important. Even the Bible says the children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases God. You see, when you obey your parents, automatically you're obeying God. So, my dear children, 
I ask you, and I want us to be in this mood so that God can guide us, so that we can hear that still voice, so that we can be able to control things. That people will look at us and say, wow, how did you do that? Then we know that it's not our power, it's not our strength, but by the Spirit of the living God in us. Isaiah 30, 21 says, Your ears shall hear the word behind you, saying, This is the way, walk in it. When you walk to the when you turn to the left or either when you turn to the right, you will hear those words. It comes to you, it will tell you this is the way walk in it. You know? So children, beautiful children, let's be in this mood. Let's keep our ears open and let's ask God for his guidance so that we can have control with a lot of things that come our way. So that our future can be controlled. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word. We ask, Father, that you dwell in us. Help us to hear you every day of our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. God bless you. When you're going out, you're coming in. God bless you. It's cool. God bless you in everything you do. God bless our mommies and our daddies. God provide and enlarge our coast. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Glorious children, bless you.